message speaks to us today about righteousness, love, peace, justice and salvation. It urges us not to build up tombs and walls, instead to build up bridges and helplines. In the first reading of today, St. Paul writes to the Romans, All have sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God. But it is God who sustains us and brings us back to new life. It reminds me about another quotation. Every saint had a past and every sinner has a future. Therefore, let you and me look towards that future. Even the responsorial psalm of today goes in the same line. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. In the Gospel of St. Luke chapter 11 verses from 45 to 57 also speaks about salvation. Though the people have sinned and they have killed one another with their misbehaviors and wrongdoings, it is God who intervenes in their lives, helps them and sends his helping hand towards them to save them and their generation from sin through the instrumentality of the prophets and saints. Dear friends, all of us are called by God. Therefore, each one of us is a child of God. Be it you are a Christian, a Hindu, a Catholic or a Muslim, you are called by God. Therefore, you are the child of God. And so, we are to be the forbearers of our God. Today, he asks us to have a move from the culture of exclusiveness to the culture of inclusiveness, where we will be able to include all our friends into the circle of our friendship. Therefore, today let us reflect and see, are we ready to be the change here? Are we ready to accept our brothers and sisters as they are with their strengths and limitations as we accept our own selves? Yes, dear friends, as the father of our nation, Mahatma Gandhi said, let you and me be the change that we want to see in this world tomorrow. Have a good day and may God bless us all.